Good Monday morning. What are we playing with today? This is a 1982 microwave vacuum coffee maker. Anchor Hawking. It came with a manual. There is no date on the manual. But there does seem to be... Oh, it's really tiny. It's really tiny, but there does seem to be a date on the bottom of the box that says 1982. Which means this could be 41 years old. 41 years old! The coffee maker can be used in microwave ovens, ideal for brewing one to three cups of fresh coffee. Stain resistant, dishwasher safe, filters included. These smell like perfume and there seems to be some kind of glitter on them. So we're not, we're not gonna use them. Not for use in conventional ovens. Do not use on stovetop. <laughs> All right, let's get this out of the way here. It just seemed like a fun thing to do. Sometimes we just want to play. I was worried when I ordered this because there is a rubber seal and I was prepared for the seal to be dry and hard, but it's not, it's soft. And when you press it in, you get a, you get a seal. And you need that if you're doing a vacuum coffee. Nice, nice seal. We got lucky on that. I don't know if this is silicone. I don't know what kind of rubber it is, but it doesn't seem to be dry or hard or anything. So you fill it up to desired amount of water. We nuke it off center in the microwave. And I think the microwave they were using back in 1982 wasn't a rotating turntable. Once it draws the water up to the chamber, you turn the microwave off, let it stand in the microwave for about a minute, they say, or to desire its strength. And they had a one year, one year limited warranty. That's a lot for something like this. 1982, a one year warranty and all the little parts you could order. Have you ever heard of this? It's kind of fun, man. Brewing time for 650 to 700 watt oven. That's the highest it goes. For 16 ounces of water, which we're gonna use, four minutes and 30 seconds. My microwave is 950 watts or 940. I can't remember exactly. I just, and I just looked it up. How much fun? Okay, let's talk BPAs. BPAs aren't supposed to be good for you. You know, one cup of coffee, we should be okay. Well, here's our Callaway for this morning's coffee. I've got a cheap filter in here. That's a cheap Walmart filter. Why don't they make a glass vacuum coffee maker? I, I Googled it. I couldn't find one for the microwave. Check this out. <laughs> Handles are supposed to be opposite each other. We pull it out of the microwave. Now you're supposed to grab this and grab this and break the seal without burning yourself. We're doing 16 ounces today. That's about two mugs of coffee for me. Pour it in. I've already washed it. Is it even? Oh, oh! Holy moly! I think the water might be going up. 
the water is going up. It is, it is going up or it's going in my microwave, I can't tell. I, I think the water's up. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna turn off the microwave. Stop, stop, stop. Let it sit for a minute. Do a minute timer. It's not dripping down, I didn't expect that. Okay, now we have to separate the top without burning ourselves. How do you do that? Break the seal, and, and, and it is going down. Look at that. Hey, it worked, it's advertised. Put this in the lid. <laughs> I'm gonna move this. Oh! It says I can pour it from any angle. All right. It did seem like it was leaking. I think it was leaking just a tiny bit. Oh, that was light. That's lighter than I usually make my coffee. No, don't know why I did that. Cheers, Anchor Hawking. M microwave coffee maker from 1982. I was worried about the rubber seal. I, did, well, I wasn't thinking about the plastic. There is a seal going around. But we bought it to play with, and I think we play with it? Hey, thanks for joining me this Monday. You know what I'm going to say. What am I going to say? Have some BPA with your coffee. Thanks for watching.